Good morning and welcome to Angie's Craft Corner. Today we are going to do inking and a Turing technique. We are going to do something like this. I'm going to go pretty close to recreating this card and showing y'all how. Hope y'all enjoy. Uh, I'm going to do this as quick as possible. But show you step by step where well, I've cut the grass and the butterfly already out, so that will save a few minutes. Okay, to get started, you'll need I used uh, some textured cardstock for the background, as in this. I use the tan for a solid background. I'm going to cut it to four inches by five and a half. And like I said, I'm doing this as quickly as possible, but I'm not moving too fast this morning. I usually would already have this all done. And these I'm just going to leave like so until we get closer to the finish end. I'm going to ink the tan with some old olive from Stampin' Up. As <clears throat> most of y'all know, I love to ink. So this is nothing new. I just gotta find that wall leaf. Found it. Okay, then we're going to tear the blue, so much, I'll get it right here in a minute, but we're going to ink it with a Night of Navy or Pacific Blue. Let's try Pacific Blue. And the yellow is going to be daffodil, the light. And I'm going to just tear it so, so. You want it a little bit darker, you can always go do, do an orange or pumpkin pie, tango twist, any of those, or tinging tango. Okay. That being said, I'm going to put my card together. I'm using my ATG gun. And I'm 
going to just bring this blue down just a tad. And I'm going to add the yellow. Scissors is did find them. I'm just gonna carefully trim the excess off. Well, I might have to try it twice. to the leaves. As I said, I've had these cut out. So I'm going to just use these. And I'm going to scare the way for just a second and knock something off while I grab some glue. And I'm just using what they call wet glue. And this is not the glue that's in it, so. On to the butterfly. Now I've got to find the felt strips. So just bear with me. I'm going to do it in black blurry bliss from Stampin' Up ink line. Those ants in here. I'm going to really ink this bottom one. See, y'all seen me do this. And I'm really going to ink this one. I'm going to just add a tad of glue 
do the back of this. Stick this right on here. And grab my jewels. And I get at Dollar Tree and add three of these the circles right on to here. And now I'm just going to put a little bit of tape on my corn, my butterfly on. Stamp block and some stamps. Let's say let's say happy Easter. Hmm, maybe not. Yeah, here we go. Now I'm going to just stamp this in the the uh, Blackberry Bliss. I think it'll be fine. Line it up as good as you can. Hey, that was perfect. Say so myself. <clears throat> no, I'm totally ready for this video, so bear with me. Do, get your card base. I use the prepaid made ones. Um, ATG again, again. A couple of about three strips of tape down and as you can see I can get on the oh yeah and trim your vines off And you have a cute little Easter corn. Thank you for joining Angie's Craft Corner. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video. Feel free to leave a comment below. Or feel free to email us at Angie's Craft Corner at gmail.com. Thanks for visiting. Come back soon.